structure of a command. If you are in the switch, and this is the greater than, so I'm at the user level, and I type in the word ping. The ping is the command itself. I'm going to type in a space after the command. Then you give me the argument or arguments. In this case, we had one. You gave me the IP version 4 address. So I'm saying ping this address. Send a tiny packet out there to see if this address is alive and on the network. Here's another command. Switch greater than show, that means display, space, IP space protocol. So I'm only concerned with the IP protocols, not the TCP ones or anything else, but just IP protocols. And it's going to display those. Context sensitive help. If I type CL question mark, it's going to give me all commands that start with CL with anything behind it. Notice the question mark says whatever comes next will be fine with me. Here's another one, clock space set space question. If you don't know what comes after the word set, use this as a guide. It gives you an explanation. It says, okay, hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, second, second for the current time. Great. So now I've almost got this figured out. But what comes after the actual time? Question mark again. And it says the day of the month and then the month and month of the year. Notice the command at the end. This is the complete command that I, I would enter. Clock set hours, minutes, seconds, the 25th day of June, J-U-N-E, 2012. It accepted it. The syntax check. What this is saying is I enter a command, and if it finds it's incomplete or not right, it's going to give me some feedback. Clock space set, it's saying incomplete. In other words, you have to tell me how to set the clock. What time would you like it to be? So even when I came down here and gave it this information, it's still looking for what day of the week, what month, what year. I didn't give the complete command. This one says ambiguous. I typed in the letter C and nothing else. And the router is saying, I don't know what you mean to do. What C? Because it knows that clock, and there's another one that starts with C. What do you want? It doesn't know. This one also has a caret. That's what this is called, the top hat. We've typed in clock, space, set, space, hours, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, 25, space, 6. Notice the caret, or the top hat, is pointing to the 6. The reason this is, is we should have spelled out the month of the year. For instance, 6 would be June, J-U-N-E. So it's saying, hey, your error is right here when you go to correct it. Hotkeys and shortcuts. A tab completes the remainder of a partially typed command or keyword. Control plus R. So you hold the control and then tap the R. Redisplays on a new line the command currently being typed. Control plus the A moves the cursor to the beginning of the line. Very helpful if maybe you typed the first letter wrong. Control plus Z exits a configuration mode and returns to user exec. Down arrow is going to allow the user to scroll forward through former commands. If I've went backwards in looking but I went too far and I could go back forward and get the one that I typed wrong and make that change and just press enter and it sends it again. Up arrow allows the user to scroll backwards through former commands. You've got the control plus shift plus six allows the user to interrupt an iOS process such as a ping or a trace route. Trust me, you want to remember this one. Control plus shift plus six. So if you get a really, really long ping going or as soon as you've typed it, you realize you put in the wrong address, do this real quick and it will just stop the process. Same thing with a trace route, which might take a long time. Control plus C is going to abort the command currently being entered, and it's going to return you to the privileged exec mode. This concludes accessing your router.